Hello everyone, thanks for joining us. Today we are going to be trying out this European cookie Belgium chocolate set from Costco. So we saw this at Costco and we thought we better give it a try. <laughs> So it looks like there are several different options and I'm just gonna cut open this plastic that surrounds this cookie tin. You saw it, so what caught what? your attention? Mm. I don't know, it's that it had a lot of stuff in there. Actually, this tin is really pretty. It's red and I can probably use it for something. And then it has flowers on the Front. and it feels really sturdy to me. Oh, you know what? When we make our Christmas cookies, we can probably pack it like in here for a gift for somebody. Mm. Okay, so as <laughs> no. soon as you open it, then on the inside, it gives you all of the different cookies that are packed in there. This is what it looks like, and there's a plastic covering over the top. There's 15 different kinds of cookies in here. Oh, there's two different layers in here. So that's nice. There's double chocolate perfection, choco crisp, sweetheart, choco harlequin, noir crisp, hazelnut cream, cream caramel, starlight, choco sprinkles, caramel cookie, mocha milk, vanilla cream roll, choco leaf, artisan crisp, and caramel delight. That's a lot. That is a lot. And they all sound delicious. So I'm really looking forward to this. Okay, you choose. Maybe this one? That one is the Choco Harlequin. It's Belgian milk chocolate over shortbread. Mmm. Mmm. It's really crunchy. It tastes like a biscuit or cracker. It's okay. With just a layer of chocolate. Ooh, you know what? If you heat this up a little bit, then it's almost like a s'mores just without the marshmallow. Mm. I don't know. I like that one. It's okay. Ooh, you know what? Kind of like a Twix without the caramel. Um. So a s'mores without the marshmallow or a Twix without the caramel. You're sorry. You choose one. Okay, that this one weird. looks good. It looks like a cream in the center with some chocolate sprinkles on top. What's that um, one called? Inside a cookie. And this is Choco Sprinkles. Crisp pastry with a Belgian white chocolate center and a Belgian milk chocolate sprinkle. Mm. You didn't get any of the white chocolate. It's really crispy, crunchy. It almost tastes like an overcooked cookie, which I really mm. like, but it's like an overcooked sugar cookie. I like the um, white chocolate on it, it tastes good. Mm -hmm. I just got a piece without any white chocolate on it, mm -hmm. and it's very bland without yeah, the white chocolate. Yeah, it's pretty plain without mm -hmm. it. Okay, nice. Mm, let's try the mocha milk. No, I think it's the- This one's called- Oh, it is the mocha milk, the mocha right? Milk. There are four of them that kind of look the same. This is delicious biscuit coated with Belgian milk chocolate. Tastes kind of like coffee. You're right. Now I am tasting the coffee. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't even mention coffee on the description. It's not bad. Mm -hmm. I like that one. Okay, you okay. So far I like all of them. Let's go for the vanilla cream roll. Oh, it's like a wafer. Mm-hmm, and it has the cream in the center. I think cannolis have cream in the center, but the cannoli is doughier. I've never heard of a cannoli before. Mm. Mm. Those are like those mm. sticks you like. No, the ones I got at the dollar store are better than those ones. What are those called again? Pirouettes? Well, now that I'm eating it, it's actually pretty good. Mm-hmm. The center is creamy and very sweet, but then the outside is like a thin, kind of flaky, subtle coating. So you can hardly notice it other than the crunch. It's good. Mm -hmm. Okay, now you. I just should have brought like some milk up here. Mm -hmm. Wash, Wash everything down. down, cause now it's kind of getting a little bit too <laughs> much for me. Okay. Mm, no, maybe this one, okay. the caramel delight. Ooh, that sounds good. I like caramel. Mm. Okay. It looks like a cookie center again. Mm -hmm. With like maybe a white chocolate drizzle on top. Mm -hmm. What flavors are you getting? Mm -hmm. I can taste the caramel. To me, it just tastes like a caramel crunch, like a caramel coated cookie. No, they have like a weird 
twang, like tangy taste. I don't know how to explain it. I don't like that one though. You know? Mm -mm. Do you like caramel? There's a thing? taste I don't in there that I don't know. Maybe that's what I'm tasting. Maybe I don't like caramel. You know? I don't think so. Oh, I really like caramel. Actually, that's one of my favorite flavors. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay, let's try this heart one. This one is the Sweetheart. It's a hazelnut biscuit covered Belgian milk chocolate. Is that focusing? It's really pretty too. Looks like a milk chocolate with dark chocolate drizzle over the top mm -hmm. and it's very melty. It's already melting on the sides where my fingers touched it. Really? Mm-hmm. And another shortbread milk chocolate coated cookie. Are you mm -hmm. getting any of the hazelnut flavor? You like hazelnut, so. I have to like think, of, like, think about focusing mm -hmm. what I'm tasting on. Mm -mm. I like that. It kind of tastes like a nutty. It tastes peanutty, yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. That one's okay. But the nut nutty flavor is very subtle. So you can get a hint of it, but it's mm -hmm. not too much peanut. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe this one? Okay. Ah. That one is Starlight. Semi-sweet and white Belgian chocolate over shortbread. That one did not want to break. <laughs> and you could really hear the snap on that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hmm. That one's good. Mm-hmm. You can definitely tell the difference between the milk chocolate and the white chocolate because it's creamier. Mm-hmm. I had to get some milk, guys. It's too much chocolate for me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really eat that much chocolate usually or anything. Let's try this one. This one looks different. Oops. Oh no, I broke it. <laughs> They're stuck together. Oh, Show no. the people what you did. Oh no, these two are stuck together. It looks a lot prettier in the and box. I'm oh no, it's to supposed to be one. Oh, <laughs> I thought they were separate. No. I was trying to just get the top part off and it was totally just no, breaking It's apart. almost like an Oreo has like a cream filling oh. in the outside. Well, that's messy. Oh, okay. The chairs keep squeaking. Mm. Sorry about that. Can you hurt a lot? Yeah. Okay. Let's see what the description says. Caramel cream filled shortbread on a Belgian milk chocolate base with Belgian white chocolate drizzles. It tastes like crunchy sweetened condensed milk. Yeah, it with tastes like very milky. A hint of chocolate, but not a lot of chocolate. Is there even any chocolate? Oh yeah, there is. There's a coating of chocolate on the bottom. Okay, there you. This is one called with the white. That one is the Choco Crisp. It's a cream wafer coated with Belgian milk chocolate and white chocolate drizzle. I like that one. Mm -hmm. Is that really just milk chocolate that I'm tasting with a crunch? Yeah, it tastes like a Twix, but better than a Twix. Didn't the other one taste like a Twix though? I didn't think so. Oh. This one has a stronger milk chocolate. Yeah, I like, um, milk chocolate things. This one's creamier than the yeah. other one. Let's try this caramel cookie. A caramel pastry covered in Belgian white chocolate with semi-sweet Belgian chocolate. That sounds similar to the description of which one? Mm, this one maybe? Mm-hmm. But this one has like a darker cookie in the middle. Does it taste like the other one though? What does that taste like? No, that no. one also tastes very creamy, like a sweetened condensed milk. It wasn't it tastes as more vanilla. -y. Tasted similar to the other one that had the sweetened condensed milk flavor. Mm -hmm. I don't know about you, but it's hard for me to differentiate the tastes when I'm eating them right after mm -hmm. the other. I, I'm really like focusing on what am I tasting. <laughs> they almost taste really similar. They, they just look different, similar. but they taste similar. I know. I wish that they had more of a variety in here with distinct flavors because mm -hmm. if they had like toffee or like a strong vanilla or something else to make them distinctly different, I mm -hmm. feel like that would make it a better variety. Okay, you choose. What's this one called? That one is... This one tastes like dark chocolate. It's more like dark chocolate. That one's dark chocolate perfection. Wow. A dark pastry with cocoa and a hint of almond. Did you guys see almond. me call that? Oh, a hint of almond? That sounds good. I and hate it dark actually chocolate. looks like the thin mints that the Girl Scout will tell you. But what does it taste like? That one's awful. I don't know why I still been into it, but I don't know. I thought they were almond chocolate. I was like, maybe I'm just wrong. But then like, as I'm like, because dark, dark chocolate has a distinct smell to it. I like that one. I like dark chocolate. 
So that one kind of tastes a little more like a truffle to me. It's bad. Just with a crunchy center. Oh no, I like that one. Because dark chocolate mm -hmm. tastes so bitter to me. I hate bitter tasting <laughs> things. You like bitter tasting things? Mm, I like dark chocolate and I like coffee, but not like strong coffee flavor oh. because I like to add cream to it. All right, well, I think the last three are actually dark chocolate. <laughs> oh, they are? Can you make are sure? Because I don't want to eat it. I really, that's so bad. This one says chocolate leaf pastry coated with Belgian milk and semi-sweet chocolate. So mm -hmm. no, it looked dark, but it's not. Mm -mm. Yeah, but you know what dark chocolate tastes like? Mm -hmm. Is it similar to dark chocolate? I don't mm -hmm. want to try that one. I think you might like it. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. No, I can't. It's no, that like tastes in my mouth still. It's really gross. I need to have like one of these. Like, this one, of the one actually ones. tastes like the center might taste a little similar to like a gingerbread. I'm mean, like a chocolate overload. It's very chocolatey. I can't, I can't eat too much chocolate. Ooh, this one I bet you'll like. This one's a hazelnut cream and Dominique loves hazelnut. It's a pastry enrobed in semi-sweet Belgian enrobed, chocolate that's a fancy word. filled with hazelnut cream. Mmm, look. This one actually has a filling. So you have the coating of chocolate on the outside, then a cookie, and then the filling. I don't I'm taste any out. hazelnut. Mm -mm. I don't know if the like my palate is just saturated and so I can't tell any difference, but yeah Okay, I'm tapped out though. There's only I one left. Anymore. You take one for the team Tell us all what it tastes like this one. I think It's the cream wafer coated with semi-sweet Belgian chocolate Mmm This is a wafer <laughs> I know it says wafer, it's but good. you can definitely mm, see That's the what wafer this one there. looks like too. Is that what that one looks like? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that one was, which one is that? Cocoa Crisp. Oh, the cream wafer coated. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me see if I can tell the difference. Mm. This one with the white chocolate drizzle. That one tastes creamier and more like milk chocolate. The other one with the uh, milk chocolate dribble, drizzle. That one tastes more like an in-between. So it's not as milky, but mm. it's not like a dark chocolate either. Mm. It's just a between. Okay. So I think most of the flavors in here were just very chocolatey and they all kind of blended together. Yeah, and they all have like a, they're all like a cookie. And this is the damage. <laughs> so. I don't know if you can see how many things are gone from there. That wind outside is crazy. I know. I wonder if it's really they can windy hear it in there. From the I don't camera. know. Can you guys hear that? It's really windy here. Yeah. It feels like shingles are gonna be flying <laughs> off at any second. <laughs> it's pretty mad out there. Okay, so did you have a favorite or can you even remember which was I don't which? remember a favorite. I think it might have been this one. This dual toned one. Mm -hmm. I think I did that one. Oh, I think that one. Probably made me. this rolled wafer one was my favorite. Mm -hmm. There was definitely a difference with the texture, and there's only two of these. It looks they like there's more, the best, but there's only the best two. Ones, yeah. There's a bunch of these stick looking ones. Anyway, that was our snack tryout for Costco. Maybe at Love. some point we should get other snacks from Costco to try or just mm -hmm. some other food because they have quite a selection in their they do. deli. Well, that area around there, they have a lot of good mm -hmm. stuff in there. So please like and subscribe if you liked the video. Yep. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. See ya.